welcome back to the Surge 2 full walkthrough, including all DLC and alternative boss kill items. And we're going to proceed on to Port Nixon. Uh, before we do that, I actually had my banner come in while I was uh, doing other stuff. And so I was able to come over I'm here so and um, speak to Molly and buy okay. the Angel 6 body gear. Um, so if you have the tax scrap, pick it up now. You can see I've already bought it. Sorry for not capturing that on video. Uh, I actually did record it when I was buying it, but I realized my mic was off and everything that I was saying was not getting to me. So I had to restart. <laughs> Problem solved now, though, so let's go into port next. For your other tech scrap, hold on to it. You need it for the next vendor anyway. When you come out here, if you didn't already plant your banner um, out above on the other side, then you can plant it here as well. Uh, not your banner, your um, symbol of the resistance. So if you haven't tagged Port Nixon yet, you can also do it as soon as you come through here. But you should have, if you're following the walkthrough, tagged it uh, from the other entrance off over there. So you can see the terminal is right in the middle there, um, and then to the left there is the Cathedral of the Spark. So we're generally going to head that direction. Let's get our audio log. Evacuate Port Nixon, they said. Use force if necessary. <laughs> yeah, right. These people don't want to be saved. They killed everyone. I'm the last <laughs> survivor. But we found something at the harbor. Something big. Flight 221. And there was a survivor. We lost the girl. We failed our mission. I'll have my revenge. Just you wait. Those damn bastards. So go ahead and grab all the loot. Uh, make sure you're using your drone to take out the little drones. And there is one by this guy too. A little bit difficult to target. There you go. Um, and for this guy, you can either uh, go for his head for a reclamation buddy or for his arm um, for his weapon. Since we don't have any armor on either body part, doesn't matter which one you want to go to. Go after. So I'll get the weapon this time. Spark Engineer's multi-tool is uh, not all that great of a weapon, to be honest. It does do electricity damage, but it's a hammer, so it's kind of slow. The electricity damage is low, so you're better off using Zarathustra since it uh, stacks the electricity damage more quickly. It's also got better damage overall. See Terminal Z off of there, along with Cathedral of the Spark, we're getting closer. Um, and you can see with your Starfish, you're going to be able to open up that door, but you don't have it yet. So we're just going to come over here and go to the Med Bay. Now, before you get to the Med Bay, you want to hang right and get this audio log here. Come on, just try it. It'll expand your consciousness. What if there's no going back? My brother had a dose of Bruce Barker once. A few weeks later, we found him dead in the gutter. That's what your mom tells you. Because she needs a scapegoat. Because she can't face the fact she drove him to kill himself. But don't worry. This will make the pain go away. Forever. You can stop whenever you want. Okay. Just, just this once. There's a couple of pieces of loot that you can get in here. If you break these, you can get this. Uh, if you have not planted your banner yet, you can also... A good spot to drop your banner is here. But I 
did that a little bit earlier, so I can't tell you here. A lot of people don't know to check those crates or that they're breakable. Um, and then there's one more piece of loot up top here. So grab that, go back down, and we will have our first interaction with little Johnny, our assassination target. Clearly a very pleasant uh, Mafia boss. So we've opened up the med bay. I'm just going to save my tech scrap still. We want to hold on to it until we get to the next vendor. And you are all geared up anyway, so there's no more people to spend. You're actually kind of ahead of the game. Um, as this tag would indicate, and I'm going to maybe do one that's a little bit more obvious for people, um, there is indeed over here some loot. There you go. Yeah, people should be able to see that a little bit easier. Walls are easier than floors. Like, I don't check floors all the time. Um, so if you're dropping a tag, try and go for the... Go for the wall. Um, Alright, so for this guy, he's got two items you can get. You can either go for his weapon, but he doesn't have an armor piece, or an arm piece, so we're going to go for his head. So that gives us the Spark Aspirates headgear. Also got a little bit of loot back there. I don't want to wait for the cooldown on my drone, so I'm going to continue on. Now, in here, be careful. Just kind of hang back and take out the drones here with your drone. Then you'll get a guy roaming out. But remember to get the loot. Judgment day is nigh. The spark will strike. The world will change. So I'm going to go for the leg this time. You can always get the uh, weapon that he has a little bit later. Oh, the Spark Aspirant set also... Uh, not all that great. Increases attack speed if you have poison affliction and reduces the duration of poison affliction. So it's sort of counterproductive as the set goes. Oi, honey bags. I've got some tech scrap for a poor old beggar. Oi, governor. How about a piece of tech scrap so I can feed this starving family? I can show you the way, governor around Jericho for decades. Of course, I was living a bit more upmarket back in the day. Only a couple of months ago, I was one of Creo's biggest shareholders. Nowadays, the only thing I can hold is me drink. And so you do want to give this guy a tech scrap, might as well. Oh, mighty generous, Gov. If you want to know anything about the Swedes, you just say the word, Mortimer Gideon the First. That's yours. <coughs> Warehouse? Good one, mate. We call it Terminal Z. That bloated pile of pus Johnny runs his ruddy drug empire in that crap hole. 
peddled some stuff called blue sparkle all over the ruddy armor. Stuff more addictive than bourbon. Or so I heard. Hmm, let me think. Hey, do you see that street right in front of you? Let's look directly. I'll tell you, it's pure agony down there. But if you're a bit of a wuss, just use the ruddy side road. Might be able to avoid a lot of hassle. Then again, I wouldn't journey into the unknown all on my own. Maybe that's just me. <clears throat> I appreciate your patronage, son. Alright, so we're going to head down here. Um, and you'll see we've got a revenge enemy there. We're actually going to want to go for his right arm to get his weapon. Um, we're going to get some other loot off him. Since he is a revenge enemy. Come on. Come over here. And these guys can be a little bit tricky. So try and go for the directional block if you can. Uh, otherwise they'll enrage and you can have all kinds of problems. Um, but you do want to get his weapon, which is the Punishing Slash brand. And as uh, double duty weapons go... The damage is not too bad. It's a bit behind uh, the hammer in terms of scaling because the base DPS is lower, but right now it actually does more damage if you add in the electricity damage. But I'm going to stick with the Zarathustra. I like that better. And there's also some loot down here if you go out onto this pipe all the way to the end. Usually there's a tag there. I'm surprised there's not this time, so I'll go ahead and drop a tag. Let's see if we can get it at an angle that kind of makes sense. There we go. And we got our audio log here. Just don't get in past those soldiers. Let's take the shortcut, okay? I'll go ballistic if I don't get my blue sparkle soon. Bad lot of good battles do us. Haven't you heard the stories? The ones about the missing people? Come on, I don't believe in fairy tales. It's true. People just disappear down there. Don't worry. I'll be with you all the way. This is another DLC weapon enemy. So this is where you get the Foreman's Divine Hands. And you can see the DPS, base DPS for the Foreman's Divine Hands is very, very good and almost good enough that it would make sense to um, choose the Foreman's Divine Hands over the codename Zarathustra. So if we upgrade that one more time, it turns into a really good weapon. But we don't have the implants to make full use of that yet, so I'm just going to stick with the Zarathustra. This guy also drops a weapon. If you don't do that... <laughs> Didn't want to take him out quite that easily. I guess next time I will use my uh, drone to take him out. Um, let's see, what other items do we need from this set? We've got the aspirant's head and legs, so we need body and arm. So we'll go with body this time. Hopefully it doesn't go into the water. Good, we got it. And you don't really want to go down there per se. There's a bot that'll explode if you go down into that area. I didn't mean to drop down here yet. Um, so use your drone to kill that drone. And then for this guy, uh, we still need arm. There we go. So we can get the arm and the weapon off of this guy. And hopefully he doesn't go into the water too. Uh, it's going to be close. Okay, good. So that gives you the SR Jackdaw as well as the Spark Aspirant's arm. So we've got the full Spark Aspirant set now. Um, as well as the SR Jackdaw, which is a twin-rigged weapon, but does way less damage than the Foreman's Divine Hands. 
So if you're going to go for a twin rigged, which does have an excellent move set, you'd want to go foreman's. And the foreman's actually scales pretty well. Um, now we're going to want to come over here, and for this guy, because we got the hammer off of the last one of these that we bought, instead for this one, we're going to go for his head. Hopefully it will not fly into the water. Good. And that gives us the Reclamation Buddy implant. Then we're going to creep up here and open this door. Looking kind of suspicious. Walter! Did you just break in here? Come to Penny at once! Now, do not pick up this loot here. And said, if you do, she's going to take it back from you, so you might as well wait. My door is open to everyone, sweetheart, but this is outrageous. You weren't trying to creep up on me from behind, were you? Not at all, sweetheart. What's done is done. I'm not surprised, though. Not one bit. I've seen desperation like this in a lot of people. Hunger drives us to do things we never thought possible. I hate to let you leave on an empty stomach. If only my cooling chamber was working, I'd take real big care of you. Still, it's useless. I won't be able to do anything without a spare part. That's wonderful, sweetheart. You're a real lifesaver. You just have to find one of those bots scuttling around all over Port Nixon and salvage a spare part. Should be easy as pie for someone of your abilities. Just find me a spare part from one of those little scuttlebots. Once my cooling chamber is up and running, we'll have a real feast. Sure, but I am not allowed to sell my best wares in here. That's the law of the wasteland, sweetheart. If someone gave those ruffians on Main Street a taste of their own medicine, I might be able to sell you some special stuff over the counter. Alright, so she's only got two items right now that we can buy the critical dynamo and the small saver. So we'll go ahead and pick up both of those. Critical dynamo uh, increases energy gain when your health is low. Don't run around with low health, bad idea. And we need to get the spare part for. I'm just going to get a little bit more dialogue. Me again. There we go. How's the spare part? Trying to wrap me around your little finger, sweetheart? Good news. It's working. Never thought about it. Port Nixon is the only home I've ever known. I love everyone here to bits. My mama always told me the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, Penny. Ever since the shit hit the fan. Feeding our neighbors has become my mission in life. Such a silly girl, huh? All right. So as you can see here, um, that entryway is locked off. We're still going to leave this on the ground. So we're going to go and get her drone module, which we can do right around the corner if you haven't killed the drone or the uh, bots down on the road. So this guy is going to run off. Don't worry about him. Kill this. Here, and then you can target, and from here you can use your uh, last pistol drone module to get the spare parts. Then we can run back down here, go back up, talk to Penny, ignoring the uh, tech scrap on the ground, and give her the spare part. How's the spare part hunt going, sweetheart? Mm. Without you, a lot of people would have gone hungry tonight. Your reward is waiting in the cooling chamber. Don't be shy now, sweetheart. You've earned every little bit. I'll be with you in a second, okay? All right, so as you see, there's some loot there, and as this guy is indicating, it's a trap. So you're gonna wanna head to the right to get to the exit. Otherwise, that Welcome thing there is gonna kill you. Dinner time. 
So don't panic, you can just jump through this crate here or punch it to death. Then you go back up and she will attack you immediately, have your last pistol ready, target her right arm, and sever it with your drill. If you don't do that, then you will miss the Clinch Velosaw Ultra, because this is your only opportunity that I'm aware of to get it in the game. So you want to make sure that you sever that arm, and the safest way to do that is with your drone. Now you can pick up that loot that was on the ground, and you'll immediately come over here. And it's important when you talk to Jenny that uh, you demand a reward. I'm not going down without a fight. So be polite. Penny is gone. I'm not with her. Wait. You're not? Then... What the hell is going on here? She lured me and my boyfriend inside and... She's enfouled him right in front of my eyes. Damn bitch said she was gonna keep me for dessert. I thought I was a goner for sure. Uh, I suppose... I should give you some kind of reward for saving me. Damn right you should. Sorry. Please take this. It's all I have left. I have nowhere else to go, but maybe... Maybe I can make a difference right here. Alright. Now that you got that, you can pick up the little loot object here. In fact, I'll mark that on the wall. So people don't miss it. And she doesn't have a whole lot else to say for now, but when we open up the other side, she'll turn into a vendor. And because she gave us the key card, we're also able to access this shortcut here. We're not going to go up there quite yet. I want to go this way and open up one more shortcut back up to the med bay, and then I'll come back down and get that um, the uh, weapon that we missed getting the sever on a little bit earlier. Take him out. Take him out. Uh, you might want to check if you have any loot left over from when you killed the bots. Don't stay in there too long, it's toxic. You do not want to get the poison effect, it can kill you. You open up this door here. Which is another shortcut back to the med bay. Grab that loot there, and then you go up. So we can open up this door as well. So that is Celeste, and we will see her much later on in the game. Now, you can go ahead and spend some of your tech scrap if you want, level up just a little bit. I'm going to save about 5,000 because there's still a couple of tags that we can buy from Jenny when we get around to her. You'll see now that I, I'm one away from being able to unequip this, but by the time I get my next implant uh, charge, it won't help a whole lot anyway. But thanks to Jenny's keycard, we can use this maglift that was uh, shut off earlier. I'm just going to come back down here. I forgot this guy was down here. as well drag this guy to be safe
kill that one while I'm at it. Now we already have the full set from this guy, so I'm not too worried about how much peace I get. But what I do want is I want to make sure that I get up to... Oops, looks like I can't get up there. So it looks like I pulled both of them. Be careful if you get two. Um, it might almost be worth it to use your drone module to take out one of the best. And we can see if this guy, like the other DLC enemies, has a uh, implant for us while we're at it. And he does. Physical aggression stabilizer. Which, if an enemy attack hits you while you're attacking, you can tap the block button to nullify damage without entering block stance, which is pretty handy, so you're not going to break it with them. Uh, doing so will consume stamina. So, if you use that while you're attacking, it doesn't break the attack. But you'll still block anyway, as long as you got the stamina to do the block. Now, let's hope that I can kill this guy... You know what? And just to be safe, I'm going to use my drone module. We should be able to get it. There we go. IA35 Gemini, which is a um, punching gloves. Not all that great. We're just going to stick with Zarathustra. And now that we've done that, we could go back out onto the street, but instead we'll go up past the med bay. Save since we're here, and then we'll run back down to the comic book shop the other way. And I'm just going to bank my tech scrap for now until I get enough. Get back over to the other side of uh, Penny's, which is now Jenny's. So we'll go down here. And we're about to get another set that we can farm. And unfortunately, there's only one enemy that we can get it from. So we might as well go ahead and farm him up here. with uh, one other enemy um, and I'm going to show you too as these tags would indicate there's something to look for over here and this is where we complete Molly's quest with Finn um, there's also a little bit of loot around the corner there so be sure to pick that up and you have two choices you can either give this guy 2,000 tech scrap or you can kill him and he doesn't drop any loot but you save 2,000 tech scrap and it seems like Molly and your character are happier by taking him out uh, if you spare him and give him the tech scrap, Molly says you seem sad rather than happy, and um, you also miss out on his additional dialogue. So I think actually in this episode I'm going to spare him, because um, on the live let's play that I, or live walkthrough that I did, I actually attacked him, and I've attacked him since then and, and sort of not gotten any loot from him, even though I severed his head and whatnot, so uh, you might as well just leave him alive. So what we're going to do is go get 2,000 tech scrap, and while we're doing that, we're going to farm this guy, as well as the guy to the left. So this is the Beast Tank Buster armor set, which looks amazing, and it's actually a pretty good set, uh, but I like the set that we're using now a little bit better. But as tank sets go, this is pretty good. So you'll do an AoE explosion uh, if you have more than three batteries charged whenever you take an attack. And it reduces stamina cost of blocking attacks. So it's a pretty good tank set. Good resistances. Not quite as good as the MG Cerberus, uh, but awesome nonetheless. Now we also want to farm this guy for the Defender set. Uh, so we're going to go for the... Uh, body piece which is the most difficult to get and we'll do the di directional blocks as well and hopefully you'll do enough damage and enough stuns that he won't get attacked able, he won't be able to attack you before you get the sever so that gives you spark defenders um, which is a decent uh, enough set when you have poison affliction and if you're using a poison weapon. So it's a tank set that's got a little bit of offensive flavor to it. 
grab the loot there, which is the sustaining array, which we already got. So I'm going to drop a tag there, letting people know that there is loot there. Then we're going to come around the corner, grab this audio log. Recording my final report, we found nanite residue all over flight 221. One of our scientists identified that damn gunk as rogue process nanite, whatever that means. He got real tight lip when I asked him to explain. Classified intel, he said. Yeah, it's something fishy about all this, but it's, yeah, it's too late now. Those goddamn religious fanatics stole the evidence. I can only pray those bastards don't use this stuff for now going up there and sniping those turrets is pretty helpful um, and we can actually kind of snipe this guy and pull him back too so that we don't have to deal with too many at once <coughs> because those guys up there will summon more turrets and little spiders that'll blow up and do all kinds of damage to you so this is an easy place hey now i didn't say you could walk back over there this is an easy place for you to so just drag this guy back. Hopefully they'll make it all the way to us. And we can do the directional block. And get the sever. And you'll see that guy is already trying to cause problems for us. Now you can go up and back stab him if you want. I'm just going to do the direct mode to take him out. And you'll see that guy has just summoned a spider. Take out the spider, take this guy out with his head, take out the turret, and you have now cleared this area and made it a little bit safer. Uh, we could get this guy too if we want. Um, he is another place where you can get the DLC weapon, uh, the uh, Foreman's Divine Hands. head too, but we already have both items, so I just went for his arm. Now, when you're over here, be careful. Got a couple of more spiders to take out. So we've taken out all of those. This whole area is now safe. And we can grab this loot here. And come out and watch the vision. Only one survivor. And that will give you the vibrating quick sight. Nano weapon, pretty decent nano damage. The stabs are fast, so if you want a fast hitting uh, nano damage weapon, it's another decent option. Um, metamorphing talons will actually stack it faster. But I like what I'm using, so I'm going to stick with this. Remember this point. This is where you can, after you kill Ezra, you can come back here and board a boat that'll take you out to a ship and that is where the Kraken DLC is so this is the point so remember that now we're gonna run around here and grab all the loot that we burned grab some up here too in fact I don't think people realize there is indeed loot up there 
tag that. There. Audio file here. Get out my garbage on board. You're not wanted here. Well, I built this damn dirty rubbish heap with my own hands. And now I'm not even allowed to doss here. Well, I don't care, do I, Missy? This place is a ruddy minefield anyway. Can't walk a step without falling over another dud EMP grenade. And pieces of junk break everything. I'll get back on my feet soon enough. Just you wait. Now you can just run across that uh, toxin pit there if you want, but you'll find that you uh, take a lot of damage if you get the toxin effect. So instead, I, I just went around the other side to not have to deal with it. Um, another place that we can go in is here. So I'm actually going to tag this one too. And this is the first opportunity that we have to um, go into the underground. So I'm actually going to go in here. There's not like a whole lot of loot or anything like that. And it will spawn the enemies outside. But this is the first opportunity we have to tag the underground for the resistance. So might as well take it since we need to respawn the enemies anyway to farm the beast uh, enemy, beast armor set enemy. So as you can see, there's nothing really down here right now. Uh, when you come out here later and when you're run, running through the, um, the underground after killing Ezra and you've got your force hook and your lifter hook, then this becomes a little bit more accessible. And you can see just up there, there is a chest with some treasure, but you can't get it yet. So instead, all we're going to do is just tag this area for the resistance. Once my resistance drone bot is ready. Okay. And as you'll recall, symbol of the resistance is the twig with the leaves. So just find a spot where you can drop that. There we go. And we can go back out and continue on. could fight that guy again, but it's kind of a pointless thing to do. Jump across here and you can skip all the fighting. Um, and then you can come back up here. We'll save at the med bay, which will respawn enemies anyway. Um, and then we'll head back down. And I'm still going to keep my tech scrap and I'm holding on to it for the NPC that we needed to give 2,000 tech scrap to, and the rest of it I'm going to put in the bank for vendor that we'll get access to a little bit later. So I'm going to go back to the comic book shop. Kill the guy outside. thousand text scrap to Finn so we can get his extra dialogue. You can kill him if you want, totally up to you. He doesn't drop anything Welcome special. To my office. Hey, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but you look like you've seen better days. You get mugged or something? If you need a bit of cash to get back on your feet, I might be able to help. I guess my reputation precedes me. Yeah, guilty as charged. I'm Finn the money lender. You wanna get in business or what? What deal? I'm just a businessman trying to get back to the community. Times are tough. People are dying on the streets. 
I'm just helping where I can. 2,000 tech scrap? You have to be joking. If this goes on much longer, I won't be able to feed my family. So you have a choice here. Um, well, you can think about it if you want. Someone needs you to teach you a lesson, bastard. We'll trigger the fight. Here's your money, now leave her alone. We'll give you the extra dialogue. So it's up to you what you want to do. 2,000 tech scrap at this point shouldn't be a big deal, so I'm just going to give him the 2,000 tech scrap. I hope you see the truth one day. Miss Fox isn't what she seems. Sometimes you can't see the big picture without squinting. There you go. So you can go back to Molly. Um, he doesn't really have anything else to You're say at this point. You're putting me in a real tight spot. Good doing business with you. And I don't think there's any follow-up from him or anything like that, so it is okay to kill him if you want. Oh, I forgot about that loot there. Battery Adrenalizer if you haven't gotten it. So I'm actually going to tag that wall, I think. Then we'll come back out here. Make sure to destroy the turret. And we already have his head, so next we're going to go for the body. And for the defender set, do not have arm, we have body, we don't have head, um, so you can either do arm or head on this one, depending on what you get. If you want to get leg, then go for leg. You can actually backstab this guy too. I'm just going to go for the head this time because it's kind of easy. And that's two pieces for each of those two sets. We just need two more. so. I'm just going to get the farming out of the way now. You can run back through here or skip it. It's up to you. It doesn't take that long to do it to get these sets, so I might as well just, for peace of mind, get it done now. this way. Hang it right. And for this guy too, I mean, you can kill him if you're, if you're running, you'll aggro him. If you sneak by him, you don't have to kill him, but he dies fast enough anyway, so you might as well just kill him. Come out here, kill drone, rinse repeat. Now we're going to get the right arm this time, and then we'll do leg next time. So this guy basically has the same move set as the really difficult guy, the first really difficult guy that we had to fight. So you remember him from the bridge in the first episode. There we go. We got the uh, tank buster arm, I believe for defender. We do not have the arm yet, right? Yep. Okay. Spark aspirant. We have body, head, leg, and arm. So I'm going to go with the arm this time. Although legs are a little bit rare, so maybe I'll do leg. Yeah, I'll do leg. There we go. Got the leg. So I need an arm yet from Defender and a leg from.
leg from this guy, arm from the other. Oops, I didn't want to do two shots. Getting a little trigger heavy. Now, I don't know why that keeps missing. That's really weird. or something that's messing with it. Or my timing just sucks. One of the two. Alright, and we'll get his right arm it looks like. I'm just going to bait the attack. Or bait the attack again. And miss the lock. Let's try that again. There we go. That's all it takes. Farming complete. Now you could run back out there, but that's a bit of a hassle, and there's really no need to kill those guys now that we've got this shortcut open. So, and we don't even need to go back up top either. We're going to go this way, down this tunnel here, and you're going to see a couple of um, enemies with stabs next to that maglift. So you're going to want to take out the right arm as quickly as possible. R1, R2, R2 works really well. And we got both arms. Um, and they drop the uh, MG Negotiator, so don't worry about it. Thinking you might get the sever. Um, instead, have it from getting that uh, in the initial area. Okay, when you get out here um, for this guy, just go ahead and rush him. Do the execute if you want. When you get here, you're going to pop out your drone, kill that, and then you should have. Yeah, there he is. A little difficult to see. Now, before you proceed on too much further, note that you've got a bunch of boxes here, and you're going to want to break those. I'm thinking leaving the tag here would probably be the best way to do it. And this guy, you're going to want to make sure you get his right arm. So I'm actually going to use my drone to do it. Well, let's see, I should be able to get this up, I think. So R2, R2. R2, R1, R1, R1 is the way you do that. And that gives you the next DLC weapon, which is the Severed Rotor Blade. Now, Severed Rotor Blade is a very good weapon and scales Intel quite a bit later. Uh, you need to kill the next set of AID officers, I believe, or maybe even um, the first MG Cerberus enemy in AID command before you get a weapon that'll hit harder than this. Um, so it's if you like hammers, this is definitely a good way to go. It's not going to let you down for quite some time. But I'm going to stick with Zarathustra, because why not? Now, another reason why we came up here is so that we could do this. See that PAX down there? Well, we got our bots going over to take it out now. is now offline. Much easier than getting shot at. Now you've got a little secret pathway that you can get through out here. Make sure not to jump down um, onto that. There's a battery charge here. And it's a little bit trickier because you got a few enemies that you can aggro. So what you're going to want to do is take this guy out quickly. So I'd go for his head and try and creep up and get the backstab if you can. And just take him out fast. Don't mess around because the combination of these three guys in here can totally ruin your day. Same thing with this one. Don't mess around. 
Attention! Attention! All able-bodied females under, say, 25. I'm in dire need of some good entertainment tonight. Drop by to earn yourself free lodging, a hot meal, all the blue sparkle you can shake a stick at, and a virile consenting uh, boyfriend will be with you through thick and thin. Come to Terminal Z and trade the gutter for my bed tonight. <laughs> Actually, I'm just gonna wait. So we'll take this guy out. got a little bit a few of the explodey bots there if you get all three of those then you can quite easily die so be sure you take them out with the drone um, luckily enough I actually got access to this guy and there are two back here so once again don't mess around just take them out you do have a DLC wielding weapon just behind you too so he can roam in and ruin your day as well so this area is, is pretty dangerous that guy there, if he spots you and surprises you, it's all over. He can take you out in one rotation. So dodge back when he's doing that. Go in for an R1, R2, R2. If he does hit you, then you want to back out. Go for another R1, R2, R2. And you should get the center on the right arm, which will give you 4x. Forex one quantum mace sounds really cool. It looks really cool. Uh, it doesn't do the greatest damage, right? So if you look, it's sort of bottom of the barrel for this tier of weapons um, in terms of damage. But if you add in the 25 poison damage and poison ticks for a good bit over time, it's actually not too bad. So that one is 132. This gets to 127. So it's not terrible. Um, and double duty weapons do hit really fast if you use the double attack, so it can do a decent amount of damage out of it. So not to be underestimated, but it's not my favorite weapon. It does look cool though. Now, we could go through that area and open up the shortcut. And in fact, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open up that shortcut uh, back to the med bay and then come through side there. Can't remember if that's a reinforced version of that weapon or not, but oh well. I believe this is the Endus, so we've already gotten this weapon. Yep, we already got that one. This guy can knock you off into the water, so be careful. R1, R2, R2, or right button, right trigger, right trigger. And sever the arm. Now, this will take you up to the med bay, and there's also a shortcut over here. So, we're going to open up that shortcut, and then go back up and open up the one to the med bay. So that we have access to both areas, and we don't need to backtrack too much. So this makes it easier to get back down. Just in case we die. So there's the med bay. And once again, great level design. Now that way we'll open up more shortcuts and whatnot. We're not going to go down there. Instead, we're going to go back out this way and clear out a little more content and then we can always get back here to um, open that up. So this is the door that was locked before the two people with the stabs before by the uh, maglift. So when you come out here, you want to be a little bit careful. One shot the drones. Get the turret. Get the other drone. And then you'll want to get that guy solo. And he's not worth messing around with. He gets all angry. He's already enraged. So just go ahead and sort of take out his head as quickly as possible. Just not worth messing around with that guy. 
the enraged ones are kind of no joke. Um, you can get that loot out there, but be careful because you can see the toxin will build up and everything, and you can actually fall down right there into the water and die, and you don't want to do that. So I'm not going to grab that. It's not worth it. It's just some Omni cells, probably. Now, these two, you're going to get both of them together. So for at least one of them, try and find one that you can um, take out with your drone. So this one, his leg is unarmored, so I'll take him out. And that takes a lot of drone uh, Omni cells, but at least I only have to deal with one of them now. To keep things easy, take out his head. Gives me some Omni cells back. More Omni cells back, nice. And we can talk to Jenny. Look at you, honey. You're thin as a rake, but don't you worry one bit. Jenny's delicatessen will put some meat on your bones in a heartbeat. Someone has to take those hungry people off the streets after all. Nope. Penny's prime meat is off the menu forever. Although. There's still some leftover penny in the fridge. Running an honest business. Unlike that good Jenny, nobody's gonna lure innocent people into that old death trap of hers anymore. From now on, everyone gets what they deserve. No exceptions. And the only two new things that we can get are these uh, graffiti tags. So we'll pick those up. We now have everything from this merchant, and we can proceed on with this little cubby hole over here that we still need to open up. It's just right back here. So there's two enemies back here, we were one out. The other guy is the DLC enemy that wields the Borax, so I'm just going to take this guy out using his head, no point in dealing with the nonsense. This guy, I'll go for his head, but I don't think um, he actually drops any of the DLC implants. Be careful on this guy. Definitely be careful. We'll see if he drops an implant. The answer is no. Okay. That gives us the deflection energy converter. So this is good along with the other um, directional block builds uh, or directional block implants to um, I think we got one yeah, so, for example, stacking it with this Deflection Damage Enhancer and this one, um, you can build a pretty good build around doing uh, directional blocks. But I like implants that are usable always, and I focus on uh, regenerating health and energy, so I'm not going to use that one. Now, if you can get that from that side, you can pick it up. And we're up here um, where you've got three guys. So we're going to try and isolate and get one of them. Kind of want to wait for him to roam away from the other two a little bit. No, nope, we still got two. So be careful, that one will drop spiders and turrets. Um, it can be a total pain. So I'm going to run back down here a little bit more and let them reset. And since he's being cornery, I'm going to take out his head and then I'll deal with this one. Two down, one to go, and I got my banner too. Now this will cause two spiders to come out. Take them out with your drone. Miss the directional block. And sever the head. Now 
you want to come over here and get this chest. In fact, I will drop a tag here letting people know there is a chest. And when you hit this, you're going to get two more of the big guys. So just be ready for them. I would recommend going for a uh, leg or something like that, an arm unarmored body part. Get the sever as quick as you can. Keep your health up. And do the unarmored body parts because these guys are enraged and they don't stagger otherwise. Turret up there. Spider there. Big guy to the left. There we go. Drag him back. Um, this one you can probably mess with and, you know, get an armor piece if you want it. That door is shut, so we're going to have to creep back in here from the other side a little bit. Um, we're just going to run up here and take out this guy. That'll open up this shortcut and a cutscene. You must purify yourself and your men. Mother, I'm in charge here, and I know what I'm doing. You should trust me for once and leave this to me. The invaders were defeated. So the drug's purpose is done. We must reunite. You're not a drug lord, you're my son. An heir to the Holy Spark. If you stay on this path, even I will be able to save you from yourself. Yes, Mother. You're right, Mother. End the distribution of blue sparkles today, and feed these souls back to me. Of course, Mother. I'll tell them. Thank you for your counsel. May the Spark bless you, Johnson. I'll see you in the cathedral. Now, you're going to be careful with this guy here. Be sure not to drop down over there. That is going to make it so that you have to um, fight the boss and you haven't opened up the shortcuts back yet. So come over here, grab this chest, antidote injection, kind of handy, but for the Johnny, little Johnny fight if you're struggling with his poison damage, but not really necessary. Use your drone to take out that exploding spider, and then we'll come back here and open up this shortcut. That ties back all the way to the med bay again, so now you've got a quick path back to the boss, but we've got two additional things that we need to take care of. So the first is to take out these two guys here. And we'll hope that we can get uh, this one solo. Yep, the other guy wasn't looking, so we got him. And with the other guy, we're going to try and uh, go ahead and get a sever on his head to see if we can get a um, another implant because he's also got the DLC weapon, as did the guy up on the bridge in that kind of hidden area there. So for this one, try and knock him so he's not going to knock his head into the water. You want to knock it onto the ground. And it looks like, nope, we got all of the DLC implants. There we go. That is the loot. 
come up here. This is going to cause that drawbridge to shut once more. Don't worry about it. No way! He's so devout! He's a snake! You know about our sister? She died in her sleep when she was a kid. At least that's what they say, but I know the truth. But would Mom believe it? No, because she loves him so much more. I hate Eli. He turned his children of the spark into nothing but a cynical end times cult. But what about your holy faith? Who knows? Who cares? Just go and tell me what Eli's up to. Go on! Alright, we could do the boss, but there is one thing that I, I like to do at this point in the game so that we can complete that uh, tagging, tag attack quest uh, as easily as possible. So at this point, I'm thinking actually this will probably be the better, better way to go because we didn't drop down and get that piece of loot on the island yet. Um, so we'll go this way back by the maglif where they're to staff wielding enemies we'll go up the ramp here and we will jump down onto that platform that lets us pick up that loot looks like i also knocked some loot off the edge and then you'll want to jump across towards that uh, ramp up over there now this is how you get into the cathedral of the spark and it's actually possible to enter at this point so it's kind of handy to go in there, grab the audio log, grab the audio log from over here. And you can actually plant your banner over here. This is a pretty decent spot. You should have yours up by now. And then you can go in and do tag attack uh, inside the cathedral. This will spawn all of the enemies back out here. It's not a big deal anyway, because we're just going to go back to the med bay, level up, and then do the boss. So welcome to the Cathedral of Spark. We're here a bit earlier, but we can at least get some Jericho City is background. under attack. The Nanite Scourge is spreading by the minute. Every day, someone new gets infected with Defrag. Tomorrow, everyone may be infected. Now, there's only one thing left to do. Party like there's no tomorrow! Everyone's welcome at Cloud9, Monster Hunters, Mercs, even AID soldiers will keep on raving until the final call. It ain't over till it's over. So none of these guys tagged with the uh, symbol of the resistance. That's pretty, pretty disappointing. But I did. And if you're smart, so did you. So all we've got to do now for Port Nixon is make it back to the Med Bay alive and take out little Johnny and his brother Eli. So there's Terminal Z. We're going to go in for the boss fight momentarily. But first what we want to do is make sure that we don't get taken out. And there are a few enemies down here that have respawned that are pretty dangerous. So we're going to take out the spiders. Whoops. If I get the right uh, drone module, it helps. And don't get blocked by that guy. You can actually aggro these ones here if you come this way. Um, sometimes they'll spot you and jump into the wall. But basically... Get the borax guy to chase you up here and then sprint past him can kill him if you want not really worth it to me uh, run past these guys too and we're back in the med bay with all of that glorious tech scrap and i am gonna level up Let's 
see what we can do implant wise now that we've got another implant slot. So we have got a good bit of uh, core power left actually. So we can do a four, but we can do more than that if we. going to do this the uh, stamina regeneration mod or implant and then I'll slot this back in so that's going to be five core power we're one short of being able to use that without the uh, ancillary core so I'll drop that down equip that and we're all good ready for little Johnny so to get back to little Johnny we'll come out here um, you want to have your drone ready so that you can shoot the uh, explodey spider bot. And then when you come out here, remember that you also have that guy to deal with. So I'm not going to mess with him. I'm just going to target the arm, take him out, charge up some energy so I'm ready for the boss fight. Now with little Johnny, what you're going to want to do is you want to take out and sever uh, his right and left arm first before any of the big spider legs on the outside. Uh, and you'll also want to get the two tanks on the inside before you take out the arms on the outside. So the, the giant spider legs on the outside. And the reason for that is because the arms, uh, you need to break those if you want the alternative boss kill. And the two internal tanks, towards the end of the fight, they tend to be really difficult to manage and to get to. Um, and when you break them, they also drop poison in that area underneath his body. So you don't want to like break one and then have other poison spots from the other tanks on the legs. It just makes the fight much more difficult. So the strategy is right arm or left arm, do the arms first, the two tanks on the inside, then the three tanks on the outside. Whoa, boss, what are you doing? Oh, shit! Oh, I'm sick of her telling me what to do! There he is. So we're going to target the uh, right arm first and try and get in and not get taken out. Now when he does this, he's going to drop a bunch of little uh, bots on the ground that will stun you. So just run around them. When he does that, he's going to um, slam on the ground, so you want to get out as quickly as possible. Sure to keep your health topped up at all times. Go for the sever when you get it. That'll drop him on the ground for a minute so you can heal. Go back to the other arm. Jump out. When he does this, just kind of stay underneath him. He'll do three pivots and then he'll usually like drop on the ground or um, do a lunge attack. top again you do not want to get stunned by him so try and go between the little electricity bots and then just go back okay so that's two arms we're going to want to get the coolant tanks now which is r1 r2 r2 be careful if he does the body slam on you i didn't dodge out in time. Stay underneath him. And he should do another slam attack. And then one or two or two for right button right trigger. There's one tank. Watch that attack. When he's doing this you can actually uh, attack, keep attacking if you want to. Just watch the drop attack that he does. You 
can also do charge attacks if you want. They're a little bit trickier to pull off and take more time though. There we go. Now, I like to go for the back leg next just because it's the hardest to do. stomps like that so just try and be aware um, when he's doing this this is a perfect time to be doing additional damage to that leg and you can see we oh, broke that tank so we just have one left to go keep your health topped up and that's it for little Johnny Got the little Johnny's forceps be 2.0. So that is a high, fast, poison stacking beast of a weapon. Um, pretty good damage. You can see it's just a little bit less than codename Zarathustra, but much higher poison damage, so it'll stack pretty quick. Good energy gain, and it's a fast weapon. So if you want a poison weapon, highly recommend it. It's over, isn't it? Shame it had to come to this, but. Meet me by the harbor gate. Something I want you to know. Now there is some um, loot in the crates around here, so you want to make sure you use your starfish on each of the crates. You can see also see uh, little pieces of little Johnny kind of scattered around. <laughs> Don't know what's what, don't want to know. Oh, I thought that might be his head for a minute there. Um, we got two more crates to open up. And Starfish is one of the best drone modules around. Mother, I'm in charge here, and I know what I'm doing. You should trust me for once and leave this to me. The invaders were defeated, so the drug's purpose is done. We must reunite. You're not a drug lord, you're my son, an heir to the Holy Spark. If you stay on this path, even I will be able to save you from yourself. Yes, Mother. You're right, Mother. End the distribution of Blue Sparkle today, and leave these souls back to me. Of course, Mother. I'll tell them. Thank you for your counsel. May the Spark bless you, Jonathan. I'll see you in the cathedral. And got another audio log here Hello? for Athena. Can anyone hear me? My, my name is Athena Gutenberg. I don't know where I am. Some kind of warehouse, I guess. Please, get me out of here. I'm scared. This is AID response. We've picked up your location. Hang in there, Athena. We'll be with you soon. See, the AID guy sounds so friendly on the radio. Must have done something to freak Athena out. Now you remember this is where the shortcut leads back to um, the med bay and to the boss over here. You want to make sure that you trigger that. God! Where's my sweet scrumption lady? Um, we can't find her, sir. She, um, seems to have fled your, your most glorious bachelor pad. But why? Have I not showered her with everything she needs? I even left her a plate of shot today. She's become a true believer, sir. Always talks about her faith. My guess is she headed straight to the cathedral. Well, make sure she doesn't get there. Nobody could ever know about my little secrets. Especially not mom. Don't worry. She won't get far. Now I'm going to open up this shortcut even though it's not strictly necessary. Um, and while I do it, I'm going to show you that you can actually use the starfish to stun the enemies. So that is a pretty tricky, handy, handy uh, ability to have. And 
he's a, an enraged revenge enemy, so no joke. Bane Knight, you are now avenged. And that will lower the drawbridge permanently, so you can always use that whenever you want. Um, good to open that back up. You can go back down that way if you want to get to the med bay, or you can just come back up here. But as Brother Eli said, we want to go back and talk to him. Almost enough, but not quite. There's a little bit more loot that we can get up over here. So we're going to get uh, Brother Eli here, and after we talk to him, he's going to suddenly attack us, so be ready for that. We're also going to want to target his right arm immediately and focus our attacks on that. He's going to be vulnerable to R2, R1, R1 attacks, um, and that'll actually be able to stagger him pretty well if you get the timing right. Um, so if you see that, I didn't get the timing right there except for once, but if you do get the timing right, It'll flash, and it'll lower the amount of stamina damage, or stamina cost, that the attack has. And it'll do more impact. So try and get the, uh, get the timing down. There we go, I got a few of them anyway. Try and get the timing down if you want to be really pro for me. I find this too frantic and I'm too old to pull that off. So <laughs> I'm just gonna do my best. Target the right arm and take him out. Not bad. Not bad at all. I watched the whole performance. Now let me show you how grateful I am. You did an amazing job back there. Now no one stands in my way. I can finally do whatever I please. Funny how these things go, isn't it? No one would accept me killing my mother. But if I kill your murderer, I'll be a hero. Such a pity you won't be alive to learn from your fatal era of judgment. So get, try and get away from him if you can. Don't let him get in more than a couple of hits. You can use your drone to stun too. Good time to go for R1, R2, R2. R2, R1, R1 combo, and you can see that's pretty devastating, right? And just stun with the drone module again, get in there, stun him with the electricity damage, and rail on that arm. I can't allow a rat like you to run free! If he does get a hit in, back out, you're also going to get these, these guys. Um, probably best to go for the heads. Drop the drone drones on the ground as well. Be sure to take out the drone modules. The turrets rather. Stay away from him. And you can just go back to uh, stunning him and do an R2 R1 R1. Oh, that's bad. Ooh, I made a mistake there. And go for the cyber when you get it. Good recovery, Theodon. I see her. She's on the move. Don't let her get away. She's our best chance for a cure. You're not going anywhere. Die, infidels! And you can see the bodies here they did indeed die that gives you the d charge 
D-Charge Regenerator. So as your health bar or your energy bar is draining, it's giving you health regeneration. So kind of handy as mods go. In fact, if you had enough ore power to slot it, it's not a bad way to go at this point until you get on some better ones. But we don't have the core power because we're using kind of a heavy set. Um, in terms of the weapon that he drops, the Warhammer of Force Conversion, uh, as you can see, it's behind. Um, it's only 123 base damage. So it's, you know, 9 behind, 9 DPS behind the Foreman's Divine Hands. So it's not all that great. It does do a good bit of um, impact, and it has pretty good energy gain. But I believe if you level up the Severed Rotor Blade one, this will do more damage than the Hammer of Force Conversion. Um, it is a little bit ahead of the Type 4 authority, but the Type 11 authority will outpace it. So not really worth upgrading at all, in my opinion. And that is it for Port Nixon. going to show you a few things uh, in here and we'll take care of the quests um, and then uh, I'm actually going to take you out to get the next armor suit upgrade and show you where you can farm the bits to get it uh, all geared up to MK5 uh, and then we'll end this episode so it's going to take us another mm, 10 or 15 minutes maybe. I haven't seen brother Eli in a while. He looks so sad. What's happened? Thank you so much, young'un. Good to know there are some honest people left in this world. Okay, can you send Thank me anything? You again. So you can see we have all of this already. What we don't have is Little Johnny's Forcep. So we get both versions of the weapon if you come here and buy it for free. Now, don't talk to these guys yet. Instead, it's kind of cool if you come all the way up here. And you'll be able to talk to these guys. Good job. Bars. Smells like you found you another audio log. In the now scram. Keep on the digging. Thing. So you'll miss that if you talk to the ones downstairs first. So now we'll go talk to these guys. Hey there, killer. Heard you took care of that fat fuck Johnny and his sniveling little brother. Good job. Those creeps had it coming for a long time. Maybe you should do a hat trick. <laughs> and go for their mother next. Can't stand that old bitch. Ready and raring to go. Let's send this monster to kingdom come. I'm tired of waiting around. Well, well. It isn't our new arrival. Here to devil may preach a beggar. You've made a lot of enemies in no time at all, and I'll only say this once. Us hunters don't like competition. Stay out of our business, kiddo. We've got the monster hunt at Gideon's Rock covered. If you intrude on our turf, you're on your own. My guys are a ragtag bunch of fighters from all around Jericho. I'm the one running this whole shit show. Got a contract to hunt down some crazy abomination at Gideon's Rock. And we'll finish it. No questions asked. If I were you, I wouldn't cross a single hunter out there. And that includes myself. Just FYI. Like you haven't heard about this. Everyone's talking about the damn creature. Some sort of nanite mutant is loose in Jericho. It's laid waste to a prison and killed a load of people downtown. Now it's retreated to Gideon's Rock. Bad news, if you ask me. <clears throat> and some old soups put a bounty on the thing's brain. And we'll claim it. Nobody's gonna get in our way. Not the children of the spark. Not the AIV. And definitely not you. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Alright, up 
up to the second level. Talk to Rex. What up, G? Everybody knows about your little trip to Terminal Z. You didn't hear anything about, like, April while you are there, did you? So, if you want to be sure that you got everything from him, you can say, uh, show when me you your wares. It, you buy it. We clear? And we do have everything already. Um, here, I'll just get an extra grenade ammo. Then, talk to him and be sure to turn in the quest. Come on, how many... Wait, whoa, what? excuse me, what? OMG! How the hell did she end up in that mess? All because that fat porker tried to get jiggy with my chica. Help us on the way, April! Just you wait. It's go time, baby! Rex in effect! You could check the wares afterwards as well, but uh, that should finish the um, April's Fool's quest, and you get a little bit of text scrap, and you also get this audio log. Someone else. That's just the way it is. Please forget about me and go live your life. Very sad. Poor Rex. Listen carefully, my disciple. An interloper has wormed his way in our holy order. He killed my brother and now he's out to get me. Seek out the heathen and bring him to justice. Our holy mission is at stake. Do not worry. Crappy. Welcome back, killer. You have murdered two of Jericho's most notorious leaders. I would get in touch with my notary if I were you. So, how about sharing some information? One second, I'll check my database. I heard what you did to Brother Eli. Every last pretty detail. Shame you don't do interviews. This story would sell like hotcakes. Not that there are any hotcakes left to sell in Jericho. Believe me, I'd know. Check back in soon. I'll keep you in the loop. You have collected more than 20 audio files. You have reached reward tier two. How persistent. Enjoy listening. It's on the house. Nothing in this world is free. By accepting my help, you've already agreed. To I'll give you all the information I have. Nothing in this world is free. By accept. I will update your records. Goodbye. All right. So we're done with him. We got a bunch of tech scrap. Next thing that we're going to want to do is come down to the med bay and construct the AID Nightfall body here. So we're going to need to turn this into the stranger. So we've got the full set crafted. Might as well get it out of the way now. Um, and I'm going to bank all of this tech scrap. Why, you might think? Well, we're about to get a new full suit of armor and a whole bunch of materials that we need to upgrade, so better to uh, just hold off for now. Jordan's just trying to keep the band together. And we can come out here. Challenge her for the position then. Yeah.
going to want to unlock that so we get this magnetic lift unlocked. And when you come out here, you should get... Large group of hunters sighted. Potentially hostile. Copy that. I've spotted them near the scanner gate. Over and out. A little bit of dialogue there. And then you want to rush down here because you can see up top there is a sniper room. Rifle turret thing there. Um, so you want to come down here because it'll do a lot of damage. And we're going to want to shoot it with our last pistol. So we can target it here, take it out, and we're good to go. So it won't shoot us anymore. We can come out this way. So we're right by the bridge by the canal, and we need to go talk to the mysterious stranger. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here and take out this bot. And electricity is pretty effective against these guys. Try and wear them down a little bit and go for the sever. That should give you the taser grips. So taser grips are also a uh, twin-rigged weapon that but they do not do um, as much damage as the foreman's divine hands if you upgrade the foreman's divine hands so they're a decent enough weapon before you could get the dlc weapon but the dlc weapon is better and the other thing that i'm going to do here since we've got the area open is we're going to want to take out that scanner gate when we do that we're going to piss off everything so i'm going to run down and talk to Warren after I do that. Or the mysterious stranger, I should have said. I mean, you're going to find out soon enough. But off more people than even a PAX robot could. If you're that good at finding new gear, there might be a way for the two of us to work together. You'd never believe me. It was my first day on the job at Creo Industries when a crazy power surge went through the system. I spent days fighting my brain fried co-workers until I finally escaped the compound. And for what? I reached Jericho City just as they sealed it off by building that goddamn wall. Bad luck. Twice. I've been in a lot of trouble ever since. Perfect scapegoat. This time I'll get out, that's for sure. But first, I'll uncover their dirty secrets. We gotta get out of this godforsaken place. This whole quarantine thing stinks to high heaven. The only way to escape Jericho City is by uncovering the truth. But AID already knows what I'm after. They'll spot me if I get too close, so I need to stay underground. I need a disguise. A set of AID armor would allow me to sneak past them. Maybe reach their command center. I'll try and get to their computers, find out what happened to the kids they found. If they found a cure for defrag, why don't they disclose it? I'll tell you why. Because you can't heal people with bullshit. Mark my words, the truth will come out. Great. But these guys are more machine than man, and they show no mercy. So why should we? Target the gear parts we're looking for and slice them off. Then go to a crafting station, and voila, a brand new set of armor. Oh, and don't forget to bring it back to me. A complete AID patrol set. Let's see. I need a helmet, and the chest piece is missing. I still need two leg pieces, and both arm pieces are missing. There's still work to do, but Rome wasn't built in a day, as someone used to tell me. Repeatedly. 
We'll find out the truth. Take care. Alright, so you've got the log update to craft the AID set. You have the AID set, so you can the bring AID it back to gear coming along. And conveniently enough, I already did that for you. Great. Just pass me the missing gear pieces. Um, so you can buy these while you're here. Get those tags, and we will go ahead and sell. So basically, you go into the sell menu and you sell him the uh, AID 9 full set. So just sell him one at a time. Awesome. This should get me into the AID complex. I'll go to their evacuation hub and try to pass as one of them. Then I'll hack into their database and find out if they're really looking for a cure and why they took all those kids. If you're ever heading that way too, Let's team up again. See you around. And he obviously has lift for cook. You don't, so you can't follow him. But be sure to open up this chest and loot the paints, pain enhancer and Warren's uh, well-used cutter. And I'll show you that actually. So pain enhancer you will probably never use unless you really like a challenge. Warren's well used cutter uh, is uh, pretty decent. So you can see it's uh, pretty high damage, even higher than the JCPD taser grips. Um, good damage, good energy gain, but the Warren's well used cutter V2.0 is a much better one handed weapon. So if you wanted one hand, you'd probably wait to upgrade that if you're doing okay with code names or a new strike. Now that we've done that, we can head back out here. The other thing that I should point out is he also gives us the stranger's face mask um, and it's currently doing more defense than uh, this sentinel class armor because it's a higher tier. Um, it's got less stability but it's got better damage overall so at least for this part right now I'm going to swap over to that and use it until we get the next armor set which is actually better overall as a set to use than that face mask but that actually that face mask um, still keeps you with full set bonuses even though it is not a piece of the set so you can use that with any set and it makes it easier to keep the full set bonus and uh, cost less tech scrap to upgrade just one headpiece for every set if you want to go that route it's a good hat but i'm gonna do the other armor set piece that we're gonna get here Attack. There we go. So that gives us our first tungsten alloy MK4. Um, we're going to want to save up some of those, but there's a better spot to farm even MK5. Not too far away. But first, we got to get through this gate here. In order to do that, we want to make sure that that guy back there is not going to aggro hopefully get just one of these. Oh, we got both. So see if you can try and like drag one back and split them how we've been doing before when we ran into these guys. There we go. So that should give us this one solo. We already have the full set here and plenty of uh, MK3 body parts, so I'm just going to focus on taking these guys out as easily as possible. This one here, I don't think he has a special weapon, but I'm going to check just to see.
when you return to this area, he definitely does, but I think right now, yeah, it's just an old one. Um, so if you would have come back to this area uh, prior to what we did, did just now, this mag lift here would have been offline. But now that we've uh, taken down the scanner gate, it is available to us, so we can go up there. But before we do that, there's a little bit of loot to get over in this area. Oh man, that was bad. Had the wrong throw module up. So that guy is no joke. Be a little bit careful with him. He did about half of my health and damage with one hit. So until you gear up a little bit more, be careful with that enemy. Just try and stun him with your um, starfish and your electricity damage. So that's all the loot back here. And now we can go up top. I believe that's all the loot back here. Hold on. Yeah, nothing down there. Yeah, OK. When you get up here, you're going to want to come over here, which will trigger a sniper to attack you. So just grab that quick and then run back over here. So this guy, I mean, you can go for um, the easy kill if you want. That wasn't intentional. <laughs> Wonder if we'll come back up here, go down and fight him. Seems easier. Oh, come on, I waited long enough for the charge attack. Now it's safe to go up here. And you can go further up, but you do not have the force hook, or the lifter hook rather, or the force hook for this one, so you can't go down either of those yet. Instead, we want to come down here. We'll unlock that grate. And then we'll go view this. Grab the busted drone there and the chest over here. That gives you Dark and Dragoon. And you can turn into the Doctor. So Dark and Dragoon as spears go, not too bad for a nano damage spear. Um, I've never really bothered to use it though because I generally stay away from nano damage. So we'll go back over to the Doctor over here and you remember you need to remember to be polite. I swear hypocritical oath every morning before breakfast. Nostrovio, you've found enough nano machines to keep my experiments going for weeks. If I just keep injecting people with lethal suckers, I will find cure in no time. Don't worry, I have not forgotten my end of deal. You can use med stations free of charge, da? So say best of luck. This is really important if you want the drone wise choice. We understand each other. And that gives you the JAG biosensor, which is the only way to get this drone. And that lets you see enemies through walls and whatnot. So, kind of handy. Um, I don't use it that much, but at least we can get the achievement later on in the game. Oh, 
All right, so we've cleared out that little bit. Um, since we're passing through, it's most efficient to do it then. Uh, we do have a shortcut we can open up down here, so we'll do that fast. And be sure to get this chest here, unyielding stabilizers, very good item set. So when you have enough, which we do, to equip that, you can equip that um, as your last implant slot and what this does is it gives you increased defense and stability whenever you're charging a charge attack which we do a lot like when we're breaking shields and whatnot now we're going to want to come up here um, open up this shortcut back to seaside court you can see right so that's that thing we ran across a little while ago and there's the sniper with the sniper rifle but we've also got a shortcut here which led to that area in the first video where I said don't drop down there because you die. So we're going to take out this guy. Can we? Take out the sniper right there, run down, and finish off the sniper. So you want to make sure you kill him. If you don't kill him, then he'll keep on spawning that damn sniper rifle. So this guy must die. Now that that's taken care of, we can move on to the next set of areas. And I'm not going to clear everything and get the loot clear our way to AID command and clear that area out before we really do all of Gideon's Rock, but we're just going to do a few things really fast. So we'll, you can watch the uh, broadcast here if you want. just kind of repeats over and over. Um, so if you come down here, you get access to another med bay. So we'll use this one. We'll go ahead and bank our tech scrap. And we'll also head into the underground really fast since we're here and grab the loot down there. Okay, so we're in, back in the underground. Um, this is by the train station. There is an audio log right here. Get out of our sewers, Mortimer. What? I built these sewers with my own sweat and blood, Gub. Damn, tunnels connect the entire city. And now? Now I'm not even allowed to sleep here for a couple of hours. No honor among thieves, eh? Not since you stole my credit in that gives us the Kinetto Channel Dynamo. Not bad, uh, but it drops your defense a lot. So, not one that I use, but if you want to increase your energy gain pretty significantly, then that's a good way to go. Personally, I like being able to take at least a couple. Sprint through, open up a shortcut. Uh, 
take out a sniper rifle actually before I open up that shortcut and um, we'll take care of some Hunters DLC enemies. No incidents to report. Over. Copy that. They found a way around the scanner gate. Looking into it now. Over and out. So we'll clear out this whole area on the way to AID command tomorrow, but I am going to grab that, the new Russian amplifier. Uh, performing a finishing sequence restores health, so good for farming, but not so good for what we're doing. And I'm just going to sprint. I'm not going to bother with getting any of the loot or any of that or fighting any of these guys. I'm just going to cruise through and we'll do all of this later. I guess I want to end this episode and leave you guys with some more. So go ahead and go up the lift here, ignore that guy. You'll open up that. If he comes up, then go ahead and take him out now. We've also got that one there, which we might as well take out. This will just make it easier when we come back here later to uh, fight in this area without hassles. How did I find you? Because I know you're there. I've done this before. Be sure to take out the sniper rifle, and then we've taken out the sniper for this area so we don't need to worry about him anymore. So that is pretty useful. gonna go do this part uh, next actually so I'm gonna open up the shortcut back to the med bay just ignore all of these guys run through here and you'll open up this gate back to the original med bay grab this loot we could have gotten this loot earlier at the beginning but it's nice to have a little bit of loot there when we make that run through that gauntlet and then I'm gonna come over here to this med bay Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out this guy. It's like, why are we fighting these easy dudes now, you might wonder? Well, because we need this whole area to be safe, because we're about to fight two guys who are much more difficult and much higher level than we are. And we get them both at once, no matter what we do. Alright, so you see that guy down at the end with the big electric fried uh, axe we're gonna want to take him out and when we attack him we're gonna get another one coming in from up above so be sure and be ready to sort of dodge and you're just gonna start dragging these guys back assuming he comes back there you go might have gotten lucky here uh, looks like we got both so just kind of move back a little bit try and drag him away and hopefully you'll be able to separate both and we'll get one's head and the other body and I think we got him separated now but I'm gonna drag him back into this open area it's just a little safer to fight here because you've got room to maneuver it so his combos can pretty much take you out in one fell swoop so just play it careful. You can go for the uh, you can go for the uh, and when he does that, if he knocks you on the ground, just keep holding back and press dodge to dodge back. That's how I got out of that. Um. So what was I saying? So yeah, they can take you out in one sort of rotation of, of attacks like that so be sure you're careful um, I wouldn't go for the directional blocks right now just because if you miss you get pancaked Easy 
easily can pancake you. But if you get good, you can go ahead and go for it. But I would probably fight just conservatively, particularly when you're going for the body. There we go. So we've now got the urban body gear and the urban um, headgear. And the urban set is, in my opinion, the second best uh, armor set in the game. And we also pick up the energy dynamo from that chest. The energy dynamo is really good. So um, it increases the amount of energy gained through the successful attacks, but it costs seven core power. So we can't equip it with in, in place of one of the other ones that we have other than by swapping that one out. So your choice, whether you want more energy or more um, stamina, me, I like them like getting more energy gain. Uh, the stamina I get back quickly enough anyway, so I'm gonna sl swap that, slot that one in. Now that we've gotten those two, you can farm the other two pieces if you want. Um, there's another spot that you can farm that I'll show you in a bit where you get those guys solo. And what I'm gonna want to do now, and what I recommend you do, is you just kind of cruise through here and go right into Cloud9. And we'll get the DLC weapon from that guy down there next episode, you know. Um, there's no real reason to do it right now. So you can talk to this you guy. looking for the party? Go right ahead. Normally I'd have to frisk you, but what's the point anymore? People up there are too numb to worry at this point. They want to forget whatever's going on down here. You'll meet a lot of kooks up there asking you for favors. Bunch of needy pansies. I think we're actually going to get attacked by this guy. Hmm. I am tempted to jump back down and take these guys out then. Man, they usually don't chase you all the way here. I'm sort of impressed. <laughs> these guys really want me to kill them. Okay. Fair enough. Have it your way. We'll do it. As Penny would say, let's dance, right? So this guy does drop a DLC weapon. So you sever the right arm. And that'll give you a Scarab Armor set piece and the... Um, I forget what it's called. Scarab Armor Gear, um, if you want to see, it does reduces the duration of elemental effects that you receive, and it also increases defense, uh, depending on how many batteries you have charged. So it's a good defensive weapon, or defensive armor set, and you also get the portable Omni Assembler from that guy, which has very good energy gain. Um, you can see it's got even higher damage than Warren's well-used cutter. It does fall off at higher levels, but Right now, it's probably the best heavy-duty weapon you have. And where did that other guy go? Oh, there he is. I can't remember if it was the arm that I needed. Well, I got the wrong arm anyway. I'll deal with you next time I come out. So have it your way. All right, so we're going to go into Cloud9. Talk to a few people going to Gideon's Rock. You should have taken the job at Seaside Corp instead. This party's a total bust. And we'll get some of the quests advanced and ready to go. And then we're going to open up a shortcut and I'll end the episode uh, with where farming that last two urban armor set pieces and then where you farm the upgrade pieces.
all like, yeah, bitch. And I was like, oh, yeah. You're not listening. I'll start again. Be a darling and bring me a sparkatini from the bar. Then we'll talk. All right. So you talk to her. Uh, we'll talk to the DJ really quick. Yo, what are you doing? Squawking into my inner sanctum. I don't even know if I can trust you. Tell me the password or get lost. Well, what do you know? You passed the test. Looks like you've got good contacts. You might be just what the resistance needs. We're a group of top secret underground freedom fighters. So shush. Everything going on around us started with a power surge at Creo. After that, those damn nanites were unleashed. But there's more to it. Much more. The government is trying to cover something up. Something big. We have to fight the system with everything we've got. Our numbers are still low. There needs to be a groundswell. We have to send a signal. Tell people to mobilize. But we're not going to do it over the airwaves. Can't trust modern tech. Not anymore. In that case, welcome to the resistance. I see you already have a graffiti drone. Sweet! That should make things easier. Now all you gotta do is leave the new resistance symbol all around Jericho. Jericho is governed by a race of diabolical pigmen. <laughs> I organized this raid myself. I needed a place to hide in plain sight. We even have an open bar. Just tell the bartender DJ Tala sent you. Yeah, right. One. That's what they all say. You can keep asking him the truth about Jericho, and he cycles through a number of crazy conspiracy theories, some of which are true. Jericho City was built on a hell mouth. Jonah Gutenberg is hiding in this town. This is top secret stuff, champ, so zip it. All we need is a straight and simple paint job. Our founder, Dr. Chavez, chose the resistance symbol. It's this branch thing with the bleeds. Seems to hold special meaning for her. Just use your drone spray can module to leave our symbol wherever you go. Spread our message. Come back and report to me regularly. The revolution will prosper. Well, let's see. You've tagged the city center. Cool. You've tagged Port Nixon? Nice. You've tagged the cathedral. Extreme. And you even put a tag underground. Great job. Brilliant. Four tags in the bag, only two to go. Keep the struggle alive, friend. Our revolution won't be contained. There you go. Party on. All right, next up, we'll talk to this guy. Uh, actually, we'll do Harold. Message for it. Oh, no, not again. Security failure. System cleanup initiated. Rebooting OS. Ah, good day to you. I'm Harold. You seem to have caught me with my firewalls down. How embarrassing. I am in charge of scouting capable warriors willing to hunt down a massive creature at the Artificial Wildlife Resort, Gideon's Rock. Please excuse the system malfunction. My network has been hacked. A mere human wouldn't comprehend. My master, Jonah Gutenberg, has been out of his mind with worry about Jericho City's nanite problem. He's been working 24-7 to find a way out. Whoever delivers the brain of the strange creature wreaking havoc at Gideon's Rock will be rewarded amply. I have already hired Miss Black and her jolly band of mercenaries over there. However, they have been ineffective so far, apart from stabbing each other in the back. Be warned, friend. If you don't succeed in your mission, the nanites will be unstoppable in no time. Even I won't be able to fight back much longer. Luckily, my existence is of no importance. I'm just a soulless automaton, after all. Slay the fiend and deliver its brain to the Creo Institute of Technology. That's all I ask, friend. Sorry, my small talk routines are damaged. I am a cloud-based silicon ballet operated at the Creo Institute of Technology. I can download into different robotic host bodies 
An external force is currently trying to compromise my system integrity. I don't know how much longer I will be able to fight back. Athena, how peculiar. My master had a grandchild by that very same name. She went missing after a... Oh, wait. Access denied. Excuse me, friend. I won't be able to divulge that information until my hat databases are repaired. Short-term memory is the most adorable thing. I want you to find the nanite creature at Gideon's Rock. Kill it and deliver its brain to Master Gutenberg at the Creo Institute of Technology. Good luck out there, friend. Initiating recovery mode. All right, so we've got that upgrade. Right update. There's a colossal, man-eating beast out there, and a lot of hunters playing war. It sounds like a recipe for disaster, if you ask me. You aren't seriously going for a stroll in the park, are you? Whatever. It's your game. I know what you're about to ask, so how about I just go ahead and save us both some time, huh? Yes, I really am Kyle Baxter. The one, the only, the incomparable Iron Mouse. And no, despite my shredded torso, perfect features, and jawline, and brilliant magician and thief, I'm not really a superhero. I only play video games. Oh, and yes, I am still on the dating market. Pardon me? Of course you should know me. I'm Kyle Baxter, THE Kyle Baxter. Don Hackett's Creo newsletter called me the last movie star. Are you trying to insult my artistic integrity? Because that's never worked. And don't try begging me for an autograph. I'm retired now. join the actor's guild. They said it was because of my so-called drug problems and chronic paranoia. But you both know the old adage, I mean. Both. Obviously. If you want to find out more about the amazing adventures of Iron Mouse, GM, go to the comic book store in Port Mixon. That's where I always wait for my fan. Uh, where my fans always wait for me. Highball. Ah, a new face. Haven't seen one of those in a while. We have some quite intriguing guests at this party. Too rich to worry, too poor to leave. Not me, though. I'll be long gone when the proverbial shit hits the fan. A man of my caliber requires the most exquisite piece of armor available. Sadly, my previous supplier was brought down by his lofty ambitions and the tip of a hunter's blade. Guess nobody else has the guts to go out there and do what needs to be done. Okay, but it's not gonna be easy. Um, I should have told you before asking for help, shouldn't I? Don't worry, you'll do just fine. You know those gorgeous robot statues they have at Gideon's Rock? Their armor is simply impeccable. Pure protection. Of course, you'd have to strip them for every single part. Mint condition. I think that goes without saying. Well, well. Looks like Yoko's found a new admirer. Beware of that girl, my friend. She'll have you freckled. Alright, we've got the Sparkle Teeny drink so we can take it back over to Yoko. Ripping those statues? Sure thing, buddy. What do you need to know? Ugh. Him again? They are not free, okay? He just never pays his tab. Eh, whatever. When you get to my age, every day feels like the end of the world. Name's Highball. 
I'm just a humble barkeep with a heart of gold. Now all I need is the armor to go with it. What? The actor, Kyle Baxter? He's a bit of a handful. Don't fall for his squeaky clean image. That guy's been in love with his own reflection for years. Fine woman, that one. We have a bit of history. Don't tell my wife, okay? That's a real robot? No kidding? I thought it was just another drunk cosplayer. He's a quiet one, that's for sure. But you know what they say. Silent, but deadly. We should keep an eye on him. Bundle of fun, eh? Can't stand her shtick. Well, I mean, we only just met. But don't you worry. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Stay strong, handsome. Alright, let's deliver the sparkle teeny and we've got Are three more people. Single, huh? Oh, I'm not thirsty anymore, but OMG, I'm so hungry I can eat a horse. Come on, you know who I am. Everybody does. I'm Yoko. Yoko Kadenakuji. I dated Don Hackett for like, I don't know, three weeks or something. The snacks at this party suck balls. I wouldn't finger this food for a million bucks. Man, am I starving. If this is really the end of the world, I want to pig out, goddammit. I need meat. Real meat. Special meat, you know? Awesome. Buy the prime meat at Petty's Delicatessen, okay? It's the best butcher shop at Port Nixon. Have that noise. Who cares if the world ends? I'm rich as sin. Penny's Delicatessen at the Harbor. Best butchers at Port Nixon. Had a row with my brother. Whatever. Let that old stick in the mud salt for all I care. Look at Ray Ray. And maybe you should learn not to meddle in other people's affairs. Party time! So we have the prime meat already. We picked it up. So now we just need to deliver the meat to Yoko. I'm hungry AF. Did you get my snacks? Did you? Did you? F and finally. <laughs> that was some good shit. Sorry, no leftovers. And we finished her quest. So we've got a couple of uh, piles of large scrap metal. And we can come over here and talk to the brother. Actually, we'll go and get the loot. Yep. Good call, man. Talk to the brother. Hey, you there, the blurry one. I'm so smashed, I can't keep my mouth shut. I just keep blabbing on and on and on and on. It's like a cat's playing something. I can't switch my brain off no matter how hammered I get. I'm not even sure what I want to do. Nothing makes sense. You know, my company got this contract with AIG a couple days ago. I earned myself some big bucks. So all I had to do was find a bunch of sick kids and get them sent to AIG command to have their deep frag cured. It's just that, you know, I've never heard back from any of them. I just want to spend my cash and turn off my brain, man. I gotta stop thinking about this. Oh, wow, that's awesome. You're doing me a real solid. <laughs> I have bigger stuff going on in my world. It's that old R&D facility right next to the evacuation camp. You see that crazy chick over there? That's my sister. I haven't talked to her in two years. <laughs> Good riddance. Sorry, but you don't know my family. That's not gonna help. Over there on the other side. Tell her she 
shouldn't have been born, like, ever. See ya. <laughs> you following me around? I told you already, the monster belongs to me. Taking care of business, what's it look like? Me and my guys are just about to kill the beast swiftly and mercilessly. So don't even try to mess with us. All hell's breaking loose if Gideon's rock. But don't cut me off yet. This battle's far from over. Name's Black. Jordan Black. A.K.A. The Huntress. Mess with me and it'll be the last name you ever hear. A good general always has to look at the big picture, kiddo. Can't do that when you're right in the middle of the action. I'm holding out hard enough to uncoordinate all my troops as it is. Hope my hunt doesn't cross the plot. The thing is, though, I'm gonna kick your asses from over the bloody moon, but right now I've got bigger fish to fry. I told you before, the monster belongs to me. But if you go out there anyway, you're welcome to kick the other hunters' asses. Tell him Jordan sent you. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Any luck? Search and rescue, eh? Sounds like the adventure of a lifetime. You'll have your work cut out for you the way things are going. Here, take this. You'll need it. So you can go ahead and buy all his loot. few things here. So you get the parts. piezo induction igniter, which is actually good for uh, bumping up your electricity damage. You get the peacekeeper, which is a better version of the Kate V 2.0. Oh. And the other piece of the angel armor set, so we're getting closer to having that complete. Uh, and we just need to run back and forth and talk to those two a little bit more. Thanks for the grub. Now for the next step. Getting drunk until I puke my guts up! Let's burn this mother down! Shouldn't have been born? WTF, we're twins! Yep, I'm full. That shit gets me going hardcore. Party time! Spill, I'm waiting. You find a clue? Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, right. I was born first, and there's nothing Yoko can do about it. She's a snake, I tell you. See ya. <laughs> Thanks for the grub. Now for the next step. Getting drunk until I puke my guts up! Let's burn this mother down! Yeah, whatever, right? My father left all his money to his firstborn. So what? I couldn't care less about money. I just want my little brother back. Party time! I mean, she never said a word about the money, ever, but, <laughs> I really don't know what to say now. No, forget it. I don't want to talk about it. But I'm really confused. See ya. <laughs> Just seeing if you guys are still paying attention. Thanks for the grub. Now for the next step. Getting drunk until I puke my guts up! Let's burn this mother down! He's an idiot, you know? A wimp. A total dormer. A whiny, spineless, dull as dishwater ignoramus. But if he ever needs me, I'll be there. I don't always like him, 
but I love him a heck of a lot. Party time! All right, we're finally done with all of the dialogue in here. We've got all of the loot that we can buy. Open up the med bay and then we'll go open up that shortcut. just going to bank all of our tech scrap for now. We don't want to use it because we're going to finish off um, getting... Oh, hey, and I got more tech scrap from my banner, too. Uh, we don't want to go out to get Inzrak. I'll actually save that for the next episode. We don't need to do it now. This is getting really long. So we'll go out here and just a few things left yet to do. Gentrification initiative transformed Jericho City's former red light district into what's now known as Gideon Plaza. Explore hundreds of galleries with brightly lit windows, buy everything you'll ever need, and enjoy miles of malls to treat yourself. And if you remember the district from the good old days, why not buy your wife a gift? This time without remorse. They've installed scanner gates everywhere. It's like we're nothing but lab rats now. This is the end game. And they always wanted a way to segregate us. Now they've finally got their wish. This is going to get worse. Much worse. Soon they'll kill us off one by one. It always starts like this. I can't wait any longer. There are still some secret escape routes. I have to get out of here. So for those of you who are watching closely, that is my super secret, my last spot where I hide banners. I have never had a banner found uh, hiding it in that spot. So that's the best spot to hide your banner if you want the extra tech scrap, in my opinion. But now that the word is out, I'm sure everybody's going to find it, right? Okay, so we'll go to the med bay here, drop off our tech scrap once more. And I'm going to show you where we can get the rest of the Kerbin set, and then I'll show you where we can farm the pieces to upgrade it to MK5 and our metavoltaic injector to MK4, and then I'll set you free to farm those. So we're going to want to come back out here through the central plaza, up the mag lift. Oh, nope, not up the mag lift. <laughs> Take a left here, and you will see a... Um, an urban armor set guy uh, off in the distance there by himself. So this guy is a little easier to deal with. Still got to be careful with him, but it's only one, so you don't need to worry about separating or anything like that. Um, but you do need to worry about getting destroyed. Totally block that on time. So as you can see, he also can do electricity damage to you, so don't underestimate him. If you get stunned, that's it. Game over. That'll give us our, his weapon as well as his arm. We just need a leg yet. So for the weapon, it's the Urban Judgment Axe, one of the DLC weapons. Uh, pretty good uh, base damage, 134. Uh, high end is 148. And if you add in the 21 electricity damage, it's, it's good. And it's got a good stagger, a fairly fast attack speed for heavy duty, and great energy gain. 
Now, I'm not showing you the urban armor set on purpose just because I want you guys to be really impressed once I show you the stats. Although you've probably looked by now. So we'll come back here, um, go to the med bay, and then we'll come back and get our last urban armor set. urban armor set is ours. So the urban armor set, uh, if you want to look at the um, schematics here, increases damage depending on how many betters you have. It's 70, or sorry, 10% damage increase for each level, so at 3 and 5, and it increases defense at 3 and 5 batteries full, uh, 75 damage increase or defense increase at 3, 100 defense increase at 5. So um, same set bonus basically is the uh, MG Cerberus. The MG Cerberus just has higher stats. So all in all, a, an exceptional set and we're going to go ahead and craft that right now and equip it. Congratulations on getting the second best armor set in the game. And we're going to want to equip that. But we don't have enough implant space, so we're going to drop out the energy gain. We're going to put in that one there, and we're also going to add in our ancillary core, which will hopefully give us enough to equip the set. There we go. So now you can equip the full set, and we actually have a little bit of extra core power left over, in fact, um, and we will upgrade that as far as we can. good shape to be using this as our main set of armor already. So uh, having farmed that uh, extra um, the extra tech scrap earlier, we we're put ourselves in good shape. Now the next thing we're going to want to do, and I'll show you where you farm the MK5 uh, armor and weapon uh, crafting materials as well as the um, upgrade item for your uh, medical take injector. Basically, we're going to want to drop down here, drop down here, open up the scanner gate there, come down here, um, hopefully we don't get jumped, grab that loot, it's in the corner, and those guys should be back now, yep, okay, and we're going to want to be careful here, um, and in fact, I'm just going to run out, and I'm going to show you at this point. So he will sh try and shoot you. Those guys are both deadly. They're MK5. Um, don't mess with them. But I'll do one round and let you uh, deal with the farming on your own. So 
So you have three enemies here, and the easiest way to split them now that we have the scanner gate offline is to wait for the one that's roaming there to roam back. He'll turn around, face out. Wait for him to continue roaming back, um, and then we can drag that guy out to attack us. So he'll turn around. That's when you hit this guy, and he'll run over to fight you. You're going to want to use your starfish at this point to stun him, and you'll want to do directional blocks. Be really careful again. Um, you'll have to break his shield twice. Not underestimate these guys, even if you get them stunned. And we'll get the arm sucker. That'll give us the AID Eclipse arm, as well as the Experiment 44H Dark Star, which actually hits pretty hard. You can use this, um, either of these weapons, for now if you want to. Um, I'm going to stick with forceps because I like the stuns. Now you should be able to get that guy as well. I'm going to get go for his body. He's not aggroing. Hide here so he swaps over to melee. Switch back to your starfish. Body is the hardest piece to get. And you can just farm those two and level up your weapon to MK5 to make it a little easier if you're struggling with these. Um, so just keep chopping the right arm for both of them. Um, but you got two more enemies back here, and I think I can take them. And I'm going to get the leg for him. And you want to be a little bit cautious when you're trying to pull this, these guys back here. Leg. We're just missing the head now for the Eclipse gear set. And this is the hardest enemy in here, and you want to be real careful with him. When you hear him kind of shout like that, jump to the side. Um, don't let him get it get to you. Electricity does stun. Focus on the tail. Try and do a little bit of extra damage than you need, and then sever the tail right when he's low on health. That'll give you the kill instantly, and that gives you the upgraded ancillary core. So with this one, it's got plus 12 versus plus 5 for this. So that's obviously better, but we don't really need the extra um, the extra uh, power at this point. Um, we're right at 42-43, so we're just going to leave that one open so that we know we can sl slot in another just wanted to show you the comparison of those two and basically you just farm those guys repeatedly as we just did now to get all of the mk5 uh, upgrade materials for your weapon and your armor and the uh, mk4 upgrade materials for your implant and that's it i'm going to leave you with that homework uh, and you want to keep your tech scrap uh, to upgrade so just focus on doing that for now. Get all of this stuff upgraded as much as you can. Uh, and we'll see you back for the next episode. Thank you for watching. Hope you found it useful.